On the eve of Trinidad and Tobago's 55th anniversary of independence, historian and university lecturer Dr. Brinsley Samaru says a more in-depth teaching of this country's history is critical to solving what some say is a racial divide. In a special interview with C News, the historian argues that the present environment is as a result of our history of colonialism. Janine Brown has more. According to Professor Samaru, this country is still reeling from the after effects of colonialism, even some 55 years after venturing out on its own away from the British rule. He says one of the remnants of colonialism, even 55 years later, is the general attitude towards race. With the two major ethnic groups in this country being the East Indians and Africans, he says the racial divide that's felt today was actually taught to us by our former masters. We will see that the racial divide did not spring either from the Indian people or the African people. It sprang from the British, the conquerors who controlled us. And they understood, and this wasn't something in Trinidad alone, it was wherever they had empire that if we let the, these people, the natives of, of the settlers in Trinidad and Tobago, Nigeria, or, or Ghana, or India, if we leave them by themselves, they would, they would join together and throw us out. He says promoting education of the past will naturally have a positive effect on the present. If the people of Trinidad and Tobago understand this, and understand that there is no real reason for antagonism, then I think the whole society can change. And that is why I think education, that is why I think learning more of, of, of our historical antecedents can, can clear up people's minds. And when educating the masses, he believes it must be done in a way that's effective, as he points out what he sees as flaws in the system of education handed down from the British. The British did not want us to be educated. Education was for them. For us, what they instituted <clears throat> was a system of training. Training is quite different from education. You can train a dog to be obedient, but the dog do doesn't really understand why you have trained him. Looking at the next 55 years and onwards, the historian says we must take charge of our destiny as a people to make Trinidad and Tobago an even better nation and a place to call home. Janine Brown, CNews.